Hey everyone, this is Kai. Today I'm going to show you how to use X2 desktop smoke purifier to help you discharge all the smoke and debris from using desktop laser machines. I would say the desktop smoke purifier and X2 F1 laser machine are the winning combo for the DIY gift makers and also the small business runners. It's not just because they are much more efficient, it's also because they are much more smaller than other laser machines and smoke eaters on the global market. You see, you can just easily hold it and place them anywhere you want and make the projects on the spot. Let's take a look on this machine. As you can see, there's one button and two LED lights in the front. You can just push the button, turn on or turn off the machine. And the left LED is the United mode indicator, whereas the right one is the constant mode indicator. And on the back, the top one is the smoke in light, which is gonna connect your laser machine. And the bottom one is smoke out light, where all the clean air comes out after purification. Just don't mess up these two, okay? And also you'll find some ports for F1 and other devices, power cable, power switch, and three level power adjustment switch. So if you use infrared laser module, you can just put it at minimum or middle level. If you use the blue laser module, you can put it to the max. Here are the parts inside the package, including two spare proof filters, one connector, one power adapter, power cable, Type-C cable, user manual, and one exhaust pipe. So if you're still sensitive with the air coming out of the smoke purifier after purification, you can use this pipe to wind them out of your working space. Let's discover what's inside this little machine. Just take out the lid and take the filters out. And actually, there are two layers of the filters inside. So first comes with this pre-filter, which is 8 mm thick, then filters the particles and dust larger than 5 micrometers. And the second layer is the main filter, with an integrated hyperfilter and activated carbon. It's mainly absorbing the particles smaller than 0.3 micrometers. The purification rate is up to 99.97%, it's almost 100%, which can minimize the damage of the smoke to the human body. Plus, the high-quality activated carbon can absorb the unpleasant smile for you. Okay, let's put them back. Firstly, put the pre-filter in. and put all the filters inside. And when you cover it, you need to pay attention to the direction of your lid. Make sure the sides with the groove face the air in light. If you put it the other way, they're gonna trigger the alarm inside because they're gonna block the inlet. And push the buckles on the both sides in, squeeze it, and push it down. Considering the air tightness requirement, sometimes we need to press the lid a little bit to give the filters inside a little bit pre-pressure to make sure it's installed. Now let's connect X2 desktop smoke purifier with X2 F1 laser machine. Just use this pipe. This pipe comes with the F1 machine. And put one side on the top of the smoke purifier. That's the smoke inlet. And the other side put down to the F1 machine. And as I mentioned earlier, if you want to discharge all the smoke outside your working space, you can use another pipe comes with the smoke purifier to put one side to the bottom one, the smoke out light, and the other one just put outside your window. And use this cable, Tapsy cable, to connect F1 and smoke purifier. And don't forget to connect the power cables for both of them. All right, the F1 is turned on, also connected to the smoke purifier. Remember to turn on the smoke purifier as well. Just push the power switch on the back. After hearing this beeping sound, you will notice the left LED will light up. And now it's in the United mode. So in the United mode, the smoke purifier will run according to the F1 laser machines without any manual adjustment. Conversely, if F1 is not powered on or not connected to the smoke purifier, this machine will switch automatically to the constant mode. In the constant mode, you have to manually adjust everything. You have to push the button on the front and set the working status. Okay, let's see how this works in the United mode. All right, we're gonna use F1 laser machine to laser cut the plywood. And we're gonna see how much smoke is generated by F1 where there's no smoke purifier. Wow, well, you see all the numbers going up. Yeah, there must be a lot of smoke inside. And next, we're gonna connect smoke purifier with our laser machine. 
and turn on the power. And we're gonna laser cut the plywood and see what happens. So when F1 start processing, the purifier in the United mode start working automatically. Wow, you can see all the numbers very low. It's very different from the previous one. You can definitely tell the big difference between using a small purifier and we're not using it. Now the workspace is virtually free of smoke. And you can also set the delay time on X2 Creative Space software. When the F1 process is over, the purifier will continue to work for a certain period of time to ensure that the smoke is totally sucked in. Here you go, the process is finished, but the smoke purifier is still working. Of course, you can manually stop the purifier by pressing the button as well. As for the noise, you can see it's only 55 decibels. That's much quieter than other brand smoke purifiers. Let me show you how to install the connector onto the pipe. Firstly, pull the pipe, stretch it, and then put the connector onto it. Make sure the threaded side is facing the pipe and twist it in a counterclockwise way. And then it's perfectly installed. Now I'm going to highlight something quite interesting about this smoke purifier. As you can see, this filter has been used a long time. The color is a little bit dark and you want to replace the new one, right? Let's just put the new one inside. And close the lid. And then you will notice the height of the lid is a little bit higher than the shell. Why? That's because the form on the new one is quite flat because it hasn't been pressed for a long time. And the old one, you can see the hollows on it, is quite like used a long time. So that's why it's easier to close the lid with the old one. But this doesn't affect air tightness, okay? Just remember to put a new one inside. And when you close the lid, just hardly to press the lid until the buckle on the both sides bouncing out, then it will be fine. If you are interested in this desktop smoke purifier, please check out the link down below. I think this is really helpful. And please subscribe to our YouTube channel and see you next time.